What do you call a person who sits in front of a TV with a game controller and talks to himself? Give up? I would have accepted any of these answers. Gamer, let's play, or crazy person. Because chances are if you're, cra you're also a crazy person because if you don't even have anything on that TV, then why are you sitting, at staring there, sitting there with a game controller muttering to yourself while looking at a blank screen? <laughs> Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here. We are back with more Super Mario Sunshine. After that goofy little intro, we're going to do the Hotel Lobby Secret. Now this time you can get a few more blue coins by shooting those flames, I think. Either that it's to get regular coins. Don't remember exactly what it is. But, um... I know that you can get uh, some blue coins from here. Let's see what happens if you put the flame. Nothing? Okay. Yeah, if you talk to the people, they're gonna be saying, why can't we go in? And if you talk to him, he's like, Hey, um, it's Mario, right? Yeah, Mario. Uh, listen, I uh, have a feeling you can help me out again. See, the hotel, it's, well, it's full of, it's full of ghosts. So, well, could you maybe look, just come inside, please? I can tell you're a miracle worker. Don't be so modest. Anyway, you come inside, and just like you said, there's booze everywhere. Yeah, it's a wonderful situation. Anyway, if you spray a ghost, they don't really do anything, but these pink ones will actually turn into platforms. What benefit is that to you? Well, if you actually rule up the game, you can actually use them to climb up. But that's not necessary. You can actually just, um... Well, actually, no, you can't. I, just, I think you can just go up a different way. But anyway, talk to these uh, guys here, and he's like... He's gonna explain what's going on. He's like, I was looking at this weird opening on top of the totem pole. Suddenly, a ghost came popping out and really spooked me. I thought he would explain uh, about the um, pink ghost and uh, what they are doing. Ah, now this can actually be very disorienting, as you can tell. Because every time I went back up to the next floor, I had a, uh, like, the, uh, camera giving me trouble. And that will happen, so you gotta be very careful here. Oop, wrong way. There we go, let's do that. And I think you can actually jump on ghosts to kill them if you absolutely have to, so. I think what you have to do though is you have to uh, spray them, then jump on them, yeah. Like that. Now that you're up here, though, you want to be careful not to fall back down. And also, you want to make sure you don't accidentally um, run out of water. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Now, how do you know... Uh, look at these coins here. The ones that aren't moving, they're ghosts. <laughs> anyway, to get to the secret, just uh, jump up in here. Now, I don't remember what this secret entails, because I think I s might have skipped this one. So, yeah. Oh, it's as bad as I thought. <sighs> anyway, you want to jump over here. These uh, Goomba ripoffs will jump towards you, so just jump on them and kill them. Then, um, I think you want to jump up on top of this, yeah. That's a watermelon. If you stomp on it, it'll blow up. Anyway, you want to jump on this guy to get across. If you don't jump on him, you won't make it. Of course. 
No need to hold down the A button or anything. You'll make it without it. Here, you have to use Mario's trademark uh, breaking blocks thing to get up here. No, nope, no, nope, come on. There we go. Alright. Now, these disappearing sand blocks, um, <laughs> besides being annoying, as you just found out there, as, you, as I said, they're disappearing, and I haven't saved in a while. I might want to do that. Well, I mean, I have, but I haven't. So, I want to save just in case I get a game over here, because I know I probably will. Please change the camera to where I want it to go. Thank you. What's in this watermelon? Actually. Just a coin? Okay. <sighs> Man, Mike, you're trying to get yourself killed. Right. <laughs> I like how every time you hit a block, the controller vibrates and it makes you fall back down. Like he literally hit his head. <laughs> Alright. See if this helps us a little bit. If you had got up there, I think you can actually get some one-ups, but I'm not at all concerned about that. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> damn stupid sensitive control stick! God damn it! Ugh. I know all you're gonna call me crazy, but I swear to god, this thing is very, very sensitive. Especially the one I have. Um. There we go, that's how you avoid them if you don't want to kill them. Oh, what the fuck was that? Continue. In fact, there's something I want to do real quick. Now that we screwed that up. Hold on, wrong button. Serena Beach, we only got one? Okay. I'm not skipping it right now, um, just in case you're wondering. I'm just going to uh, come back here for a second. Mario, thanks for all your help earlier. That was truly spectacular. Would you mind being my new teacher? I mean, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead, and he wants to tell you something. Remember to use your, uh... Hydro pack here, because you never know when you're gonna miss a jump. And if you can, stay out of the water, too. <laughs> Excellent! Way to go, Mr. Mario. You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo! What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. It looks like my theory was way off. 
That's okay, I think I've got a lead on the real cause. Now this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Mm. Am I gonna like it? This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki King. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Honest, this is all true, maybe. You don't say. So, like, this? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think this might have been another uh, mission that um, wasn't on a demo, but I saw a friend of mine do. Can't fucking see. There we go. Uh oh. If you take too long, uh, these will go back in, so you gotta be very fast. Sometimes not doing right. God! So it's already started. Just to get over there. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm I knew I'd get in trouble with this mission as well. But this mission, you can't die as easily as that secret mission. That's why I decided to do this one. Say, you okay there, Mario? You look like you're uh, suffering from something. <laughs> now, that blue coin there, if you go and get it, I think it'll knock you all the way back down, so you don't want to go for it right now. There's one over there, too, as you can see. If I'm not mistaken, you can just barely reach this one. There we go. Continue. One here. Why am I getting the blue coins? Perhaps because this is probably the easiest time to get them. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness for lasting so long. Okay, let's see. Where do I need to go from here? Ah, yes, right up there. Now, I don't know if I made mention of this before, but sometimes enemies will actually drop uh, little, like, bottles of water. If they do that, you can use it to your advantage to fill up your water, but it's rare. That should sound familiar. Hey, 
can also pull his up if you so desire. It's not necessary to do so, but you can. Oh. I was trying to like convince him to do that. Finish him off. Go on the extra mile and do so. <laughs> One lone tentacle flapping in the breeze. So you do, yeah, you could have grabbed water from that. Okay, good. Anyway, this platinum that was underneath him destroys. Now, do not grab this shine yet. Grab that first. Just because um, it's really annoying to have to come back here later. So you want to grab these blue coins before you do that. And I think that's all of them. I think the other ones just have coins in it. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's the one time I would suggest going ahead and grabbing the blue coins in an area because, um, I almost said second coin, that would have been hilarious. Because if you don't, uh, you'll find yourself being like, man, I wish I had gone in there because when you read the uh, thing for him, you're going to find out that's there. <laughs> I'm gonna do something just for no reason at all, just to do it. Um, you see these um, people around town or around the island that have baskets. Um, let's see if I can find one that I know of. Like real close by. Here's one. If you talk to him. Hello, you want to work for me for a little bit? I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. I'm craving some. Bananas, bring me three, would you? Just bring the fruit here and put it in this basket, okay? So what they're saying is if you bring them three fruits, they'll give you something for it. What is it? Oh, I'll let you know in a second. But first, to get a banana, you're just going to have to either come here or up on that rooftop over there. It's easier just to get it from here. The thing is, it's just annoying to have to bring them back each time. Anyway, it's best to just jump up here. Oh. <laughs> that may not work out in my favor. <laughs> Darn it, I'm having trouble with this. I'm supposed to be able to just drop it in there. Okay, fine, I'll do it your way, game. I'll throw it in there. How do you do that? Um. <laughs> no, I do not play basketball if you're wondering. Sometimes you can just drop it in. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. I love how you can triple jump with bananas in your hand. That just is silly. And on the third one, she'll be at all happy and joyful, and that's when she'll give you your prize. Big kiss on the lips. No, I'm just kidding. That would be stupid. I'd be like, what's the point of even doing this then? Sweetums. And you get a blue coin. Yep. That's how you have to get some of the coins throughout this area. So, if you thought to yourself, hey, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to find blue coins around here, think again. And I got the thing from there. Anyway, there's that. Oh. 
to say we come back up here. Oh, I know, not up here. Um, excuse me, Toad. Welcome to Piana Village, Change Conflicts Unchained. This is another interesting little uh, shine, and I will do it in this episode. Um, you see these little things run around on fire. Well, sure, basically they are chain chomps. If you look around here, you don't see anybody up here. You're like, hmm, okay. And you see this very treacherous looking area down below. You do not want to go down there, trust me. At least not right now. Anyway, you see this guy here, and he's like... Alright, mister, think you could spare us a hand here? This dear lady's pets have decided to go on a little rampage. No, not the bees. They seem to be acting normal. The bees? Oh my goodness, this is awful. Completely awful. My little darlings have nasty fevers and is driving them mad. Normally, I'd grab their tails and spike them into the ground. But they're too hard, hot to touch now. Oh, it burns me up. What are you throwing me for? It's not my fault. Gramps is just so slow. He left for the spring ages ago and nearly returned. Not that it's weird, he pretty much does that every night. Where's the spring? Center of the village, base of the big tree. Anyway, here's another interesting little thing. Um, I'm probably going to die doing this to show you, but if you touch these, um, that happens. You take one piece of damage and bounce up in the air. No, it's normally not a big deal. But basically, if you uh, spray down these um, chain chomps and then come over and grab their ch tail, you can pull on it and shoot them throughout the village like that. <laughs> not that that does you very much good right now because you have to aim them at a uh, certain spring that's around town. But that's why there's these, um, like, areas around the town. Like these borders around town you may have been noticing. They're there so you don't accidentally um, shoot them off the level. As funny as that would be. There's a blue coin there. Yeah, I got, I'm trying to find out where the uh, one thing is that I want to tell you about. See, so they have this closed off, and that's where one of the things is that you can uh, put them in. That's for later. The thing's right over here. Fire on that. 
Sound, that's them uh, cooling off. See, they're in the water here now, which is kind of funny because if you look at them, they're all like, What the heck? I'm sorry, bud. Got anything to say to me? So comfy, so nice, so nice. This is cool. Spring always hits the spot. It's completely refreshing. No better place to cool down than right here. Yep. That's your hint, by the way. That's how I knew to put them in there. Here, the last one is going to be the hardest, as always. It wouldn't be a, a game if that wasn't the case, you know? Come on, Trick. There we go. Come on, where is that last one? Somewhere. Just follow the trail of goop. Well, okay, I'm gonna find them off screen, and when I do, I'll uh, come back.